all right here we go another video this is us building a concrete retaining wall it's about 130 feet advertised about six and a half seven feet high here had a couple of delays here um but we we made it through it uh we started this like early la late last year and we kind of just finished it because of the rains the permits there's a bunch of things going on up here with this project here just wanted to give a let you guys know when you do dealing with projects similar to this especially like when you're dealing with a swimming pool or you guys probably remember the longest concrete retaining wall on youtube where they should have did the retaining wall first as opposed to the swimming pool or building the house first um, so i just wanted to bring that up i know sometimes we as contractors get anxious and we're ready to go but there is sometimes a um, a process to it here so what happened here towards the end of it was hard for us to really backfill because we was kind of cut off from the swimming pool here so i just want to kind of give you guys an update on um just letting you know that you know sometimes we just got to follow the process here but here we're pretty much building the retaining wall and this is primarily what you're seeing is the back of the retaining wall i was trying to get the drone up a lot here but they had a lot of trees here and kind of in this valley here was a lot of wind here so i'm gonna let the video ride out a little bit we did have to fix the sewer pipe well relocate the sewer pipe on this project here so that was another part of the delay overall it's a cool client um, definitely appreciate their patience here. They did get the, some paver work done here and some artificial grass. So I'm going to try to get back up there and show you guys the final result. We didn't do the pavers nor the artificial grass, but we did do the fence. And hopefully I will, I think I have some pictures, so I'm going to throw those up here. But this is primarily us building the retaining wall. And you guys can see how we go about doing it. It's different ways to do it. I know a lot of guys are going to be, you should have built it out of plywood. We could have did this faster. We get a lot of TikTok comments, I like to call them, on here. But as long as the project is done right and your client is satisfied, that's all that matters here. And primarily what I'm going to give you guys a rundown that we put our main stakes about four to five feet on center. And then we had the kickers come out. We normally put, depending on how high the wall is, we'll put two or three kickers on each main stake here. Now, now, the video is actually a little bit out of order because I didn't catch too much of the front. But I wanted to show you guys the front. The process is still the same. I did make a video um, explaining the rebar and the drainage to this uh to this project so i'll leave a link down either below or up above where you guys can check it out here so i'll get back to you san francisco bay area hit us up sacramento hit us up all our information is below definitely definitely uh shout out to all the new subscribers we're about 500 from 12,000, so we kind of moving on up like the jefferson slow steady process all our content on our channel is our content so yeah if you got any questions let us know leave those down below i mean leave it leave a comment down below and let's get back into the video also with this project you probably notice how tight it is for us to put the rebar in so that's kind of what i'm showing here just the access and this is kind of slow down the process as well now this is something that i didn't take into mind when i was bidding a job but this is something that you kind of got to keep in mind so going forward i'll kind of remember this process here but it was a little time consuming i probably underbid it about two or three days Here you can see us using this little template. And again, this is just the front of the retaining wall. Um, so it's kind of out of order, but this is show you guys how we go about uh, closing up the front. So we just make a template. I think this is about eight, nine inches wide. But once we put that two by 12 over it, it'll be about eight inches wide. So we did get a lot of um, comments from our YouTube short uh when i was showing this process but just wanted to jump back in here real quick and kind of show you guys this process here of us closing up the front then it's going to wrap back around and it's going to um finish closing up the back so it's a little bit out of order but i just wanted to get that in here so i get a lot of guys asking us 
how do we close up the retaining wall in the process so hopefully this will show you we also use wt 8s for this particular retaining wall and the 8 stands for uh eight inches so it'll be a wt 10 so i take it the wt stands for wall ties and if you want it 10 inches and i think they go up to a wt 224 i believe but these are wt 8s and also we have the uh wedges that hold them together so again any questions any comments let me know um leave those comments down below and yeah let's get back into the video all right so this part here is going to show again the tight access here now i'm gonna flip the camera back around i'm kind of showing you guys the back right now and now I'll just flipped it around to the front to kind of give you guys another angle of how we put about how we put this corner about now this is where the access got pretty much tight again all our main states that's going up and down about four to five feet on center and that depends on how tall that wall is and then we add the kickers on the back so you can kind of see the stakes against the bank there um this was a wide footing it was about seven feet wide 18 inches thick we had to use two uh mats two rebar mats uh number five 12 inches on center here but this is the front process and i'm gonna switch the camera back around to the back but i kind of wanted to get this angle in here to kind of show some guys that's been asking a bunch of questions on how we go about uh placing our stakes and our kickers now we do leave the kickers in i mean the stakes in in the concrete it's not going to do anything we pass plenty of inspections from the city the county the state and it's pretty much all good i know some guys don't like to do it this way but we like to pour our walls monolithic here um, again you might have seen us throw a two by four in there that's so we can get that correct height when we do our final grade there so I just wanted to jump in and tell you guys that because it might seem a little bit out of place here. But overall, I just want to give you guys that angle on how we go about uh, putting it together. So I'm going to let the video ride out. You guys can see here the back, the front of the, the, the retaining wall is actually built and we're going to add our rebar. Now, I did leave a video link down below of us placing the rebar and you guys can check that out i'll leave a link above or either below here now we back to the back of it and we're going to finish uh framing the back here now you do notice that on our main stakes here that first two by four which is in the ground and it comes up about three or four boards and then we uh use our nail gun to add an additional two by four to give us to our final heights we don't like to have that one main stake go from the top to the bottom on this particular just because on this particular wall just because of the height so it is two stakes so you got one in the ground that goes down about 18 inches into the footing and it comes up about three or four boards and then we take another um two by four main stake and 
use a duplex nailer and bring it up to the final grade here now you can see how long these stakes are and um the access was just crazy especially on the side you guys gonna see the access pretty soon coming up here but i wanted to jump in and tell you guys that um i am going to do a video i think on our next uh wall where i'm kind of going to walk each step through so that video might be a little longer i'm getting into the uh 25 30 minute mark on this video it was actually 18 minutes i was surprised and i'm still surprised i'm talking this long but anyway kick back get your popcorn this is an 18 minute video so help us out with all that youtube algorithm stuff and watch the whole entire video that'll be greatly appreciated like the video and you can check us out on other social media platforms instagram tiktok I'm getting back on LinkedIn, Facebook, the whole nine. So we out here, San Francisco Bay Area, hit us up. You guys need some work. Sacramento, hit us up. You guys need some work as well. We got another big job we're working on. You guys probably saw those videos out in the South Bay. That's going to be a crazy project once we finish there. So sit back, relax, enjoy the video. I will jump in and out again if need be. But if you guys have any questions, leave those down below. And let's get back into it. Appreciate you guys. you guys saw those drone shots and that can give you an idea on what it takes to put this retaining wall together this last 40 50 feet of retaining wall here it was really a tight access it probably took us an extra five maybe even seven days to complete this side that was not in the budget but we just had to push through it and also that it rained in january and february that did not help as well <laughs> Now we did have to get a couple inspections here and this inspector here uh, did not communicate with the other inspectors downtown because he was supposed to say I gave them permission to pour but do not sign off 
on do not sign the final inspection until we have the survey letter. So that delayed the project another two or three weeks because they was under the impression that we poured without having it inspected, without having an inspection for the rebar, which we did. You can also check out that rebar video. I'll leave a link down below or either up above a little later on. Now we also was pouring the concrete here. You guys can see it's not too much to show when you're pouring concrete for a retaining wall, but we did strip it and at the end you will be able to see how it turned out. We also have a couple videos showing how we installed the drainage here. We use a mirror drain set up here as opposed to the French drain system. So definitely appreciate you guys sticking around. Again, you got any questions, any comments, leave those down below. I have about four or five videos coming up. I'm trying to get 10 or 10 to 15 videos out for long form videos out for the month of july so i will be pretty busy we do got a big project going on in the south bay we got another one coming up in belmont and yeah so if you need some work bay area hit us up appreciate you guys sticking around i know this is a little longer than i normally do five to ten minutes video i think i'm at about 18 minutes but i do appreciate you Hang around people that's positive. It's cool to ask for help. Catch you on the next one.